Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell notification button below so that you never miss fresh videos and tutorials you might be interested in. Many thanks to our current Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making this video possible, and we'd also greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us as well. So I'll the link in the description and click the join button below for more details. My name is Sava, and today we're investigating a quite interesting and a relatively understudied concept in statistics and econometrics, which is the jackknife estimator. And we'll apply it today to the concepts of intercept and slope in a simple linear regression. The idea is that we've got 100 observations and we've got our dependent variable y and our independent variable x. And obviously the go-to approach to estimating the slope and intercept would be to use an OLS regression for example, using a Linus function, referring to our dependent variable, our independent variable, specifying that we do need the intercept, specifying that we do need the additional statistics for, say, uh, estimated standard errors. And that would generate our slope uh, at 2.2348 and our intercept at 93.6412. However, there is another approach that can be used to estimate um, any parameter based on data, uh, which uh, also has a very direct link to the volatility of the estimator, so the standard error, uh, and it can be used to uh, address various issues non-parametrically. For example, if you do not believe that the OLS procedure of calculating the standard error is reliable enough for your case, then the jackknife estimator is quite an interesting alternative. And it's very intuitive in guiding you towards the standard error concept. The essence of the jackknife estimator, or the leave one out estimator, which makes it uh, quite intuitive from the name itself, is to repeatedly estimate a parameter of interest, for example, slope, intercept, but it can be anything like mean, variance, skewness, courtesies, you name it, by resampling your data and leaving each of the observation out. That would mean that as we've got a hundred uh, observations, we'll have a hundred different slope and intercept estimators when we leave each of those observations out. So for example, uh, our first estimation would be by leaving the first observation out and estimating the slope and intercept based on uh, observations from two through 100. Then we'll also leave the second observation out and estimate slope and intercept based on observations 1, 3 through 100, then 1, 2, 4 through 100, 3 being left out, and so on and so forth. You can easily see that this procedure leads to as many estimators as the original sample size. Our original sample size we can verify by counting, say the dependent variable is 100, um, would allow us to see what on average this estimator is and also how volatile this estimator is depending on which observations we drop. And we can see that it quite nicely relates to the concept of outliers. Let's say if you drop one observation out and the um, estimator for slope or intercept changes massively, this procedure would allow you to pick it up. So how to implement the jackknife estimator of, say, slope. Well, we use the slope function, but then we need to use an if function to drop uh, the first observation out in this case. So if our observation ID is equal to the current observation, we drop it, so we refer to nothing. But if it's not, we still leave it in, and so we refer to the dependent variable, and we perform the same procedure with the independent variable. So if it's the observation we need to drop, we refer to nothing, and refer to the independent variables instead. If we apply throughout, we can see that we have got varying 
values for the slope depending on which observation we leave out. So if we leave the first observation out, our slope is slightly lower than the one estimated using OLS on the full sample, 2.1986. Whereas if we leave the second observation out, it's slightly higher than the estimator from the OLS regressionist at 2.2389. The same procedure can be applied to the intercept. Here we just need to change the slope function into the intercept function and apply it across. And now for the overall estimator, we can simply average over our 100 leave one out estimators of both slope and intercept. And we can see that those are very close to ones estimated by OLS, but still slightly different with uh, the difference being in not significant digits. So those are very close, but they're not equivalent. Whereas for the standard deviation, we can apply the sample standard deviation to our leave one out estimators. And here we can see that those differ from the OLS uh, standard errors by approximately a factor of 10. So this is 0 0.99, the standard error from the OLS template. This is 0 0.1. This is 1.26, whereas the standard error from the Linus template is 11.8. And it's not a coincidence because 10, which is roughly a factor that distinguishes those, is the square root of our sample size. So we can multiply by the square root of the sample size to produce a standard error, which would be interpretable in a very similar way to the ones that you estimate using OLS. The jackknife estimator, therefore, is a quite useful alternative when you are worried about outliers, distributional assumptions, or you want a second check on uh, some statistical uh, parameter that you want to estimate from data and you're unsure how it is distributed. It's also very intuitive to apply and it can be generalized. Why leave one observation out? You can leave two observations out or three observations out, but here you can see the problem. Leaving one observation out is simple. You have got the same number of uh, leave one out estimators as your original sample size. But if you consider pairs of potential observations that you can drop or triplets of potential observations that you can drop, this problem becomes quite computationally non-trivial. And also uh, in terms of the amount of data that you have to process, this is also uh, challenging. So this is why um, the jackknife estimator is not as popular as uh, you might have guessed, based on how simple and intuitively compelling it is. However, if you would like to see an implementation of a leave two out jackknife or even a leave three out jackknife, please drop it in the comments and we'll consider it. As for now, that's all there is for the simple application of a leave one out jackknife for slope and intercept estimators. Please do like on this video if you found it helpful. In the comments below, I'm interested to see any first suggestions for videos in business, finance, or economics that I have to record. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.